What's going on guys? So there has been a lot of uh, requests. I've gotten quite a few messages from you guys since I put up my maximum settings uh, benchmark comparison of the 1080 versus the Shadow Boost 1080 to do the benchmarks for the maximum settings 2080 build. So that would be the 2080 Super and the 3900X. So I went ahead and put that together. It's not a comparison to any other system, but a lot of you have been sending me uh, pictures of your scores in 3D Mark with different uh, benchmarks for the 2080 and the Titan um, of Shadow. So apparently some of you do have those builds, which is awesome. And you're wanting to know how those compare to the maximum settings 2080 build. Um, I don't have those other Shadow builds. I only have Boost right now while I wait for others to be available. So I couldn't do a full-on comparison, but I was able to go through and at least do all the benchmark testing for the 2080 build on maximum settings so that you can check it out and compare it to your system, either your shadow or your max setting system or your local system uh, or whatever the case may be. So since a lot of you are wanting to see this, I went ahead and got this put together for you. Uh, and let's go over and take a look at exactly what this will be. I'll show you what the package is real quick, and then we'll go into the uh, array of benchmarks that we've got for the system, and you can see how things perform. All right, so going over here and taking a look at the NVIDIA tiers for maximum settings, you can see all three tiers here, but what we're gonna be taking a look at today for all the performance benchmarks is the RTX 2080 Super tier. Uh, you could wind up with the 2080 Super or TI, depending on how busy they are when you get on here, but mostly you should be getting the Super with the 3900X. 24 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, three terabytes of storage, and 500 down and 150 up. On the internet so let's go take a look at that we're going to do speed tests first and this should confirm our internet speeds for the highest nvidia tier i usually get pretty consistent speeds with them of around the 500 uh down and then usually 150 to 250 up so we'll see what we get here while we're while we're recording this one And there you go. You'll see that's pretty typical. Um, pretty typical for me for what I get here. It might vary just a little bit, but uh, I don't think I've ever been all the way down to the 150 on the upload. So let's go ahead and move over, and we'll take a look at Cinebench R20. This will be running on the 3900X. If you've never seen 24 threads doing Cinebench, it is a wonderful sight. So I'm not even going to apply a fast forward or skip here because honestly the 3900X eats through this test pretty quickly anyway so we'll just we'll just watch it happen and uh, this is one of the advantages to their systems is they have actual good um, CPUs on their on their systems that don't bottleneck anything so they're a pretty well balanced systems that they have on these NVIDIA tiers and definitely having enough CPU to do what you need to do. You lose a little bit of performance when you're running a virtual uh, virtual threads when you're running a VM, but they still because they're using such powerful CPUs It still works very well. And so there you have our Cinebench score right there really good for the 3900x All right, so moving on into heaven benchmark Here's the settings that I've used for the test. This is pretty standard for every time I run heaven We're not going to run this as a benchmark. I'm just going to let it run through uh, about halfway or so um, give you enough footage that if you want to see how well this performs here or if you want to compare it to one of your systems uh, you can do so that's one of the reasons why i've made this video i've had a lot of people asking me to run these particular benchmarks on the rtx 2080 tier for maximum settings so that they can compare it to the scores and the the performance they're getting on their shadow infinite so if any of you are lucky enough to have shadow infinite which if you don't buy now it will probably be well into next year before you do um, and i don't have one either but there are people out there that have it and they're wanting to be able to compare those so they'll be able to see all that stuff here in this video so I'm going to go ahead and step out for the rest of the video. You can go ahead and enjoy all the benchmarks, all the performance numbers, the scores we get, and all the 3D mark tests and all that kind of stuff. And as always, when we get closer to the end of the video, I'll hop back in with you guys.
All right, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. This is actually Marvel uh, Avengers running on the 2080 tier on maximum settings. Uh, but I hope these benchmarks gave you the information that you're looking for. You'll be able to, to, com to compare this to the Shadow Infinite tier or maybe your local 2080 build if you're curious, just to see what kind of scores we're getting here on this uh, on the cloud PC for this. But the 3900X and the 2080 Super on here did a really, really good job and no complaints there. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell bell so you know when I drop new videos and leave me your comments down below letting me know what cloud service you are using. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.